Hey guys, this is MacKids101. This is going to be a video on how to eject your CD tray through terminal. Now, you might wonder why this is useful. Well, for many reasons. One, if your computer doesn't have an eject key on the keyboard, um, most laptops come with this eject key, but um, if yours doesn't have it, you might not be able to eject. Now, you might wonder why you need the eject key. Normally, when you put in a CD, an icon appears here, and you can drag it into the trash, and it will eject. Well, I'll answer that question. Um, if you insert a blank CD and click ignore, it will um, not get recognized um, by the machine and not go onto your desktop. So let me demonstrate this. I've just inserted a blank CD. Okay, so it's reading the CD, and it's going to realize it's blank. So now this window comes up, and if I click ignore, the CD is still in there, but it doesn't appear on my desktop. Now, if I didn't have an eject key, how am I supposed to eject the CD? You know, there's no way to do it. So here's how to do it through terminal. Type drutil space tray space eject. Now, hit enter. I will put this command in the description of the video, by the way. Okay, so I have my CD. So, um, this is really simple. It, it's just how to um, eject your CD tray with Terminal. If you're not comfortable with Terminal, or for every reason, whatever reason you can't access Terminal, we will also be soon, shortly coming out with a dashboard widget, which is easily lets you eject your CD tray. So thank you for watching Mad Kids 101. Subscribe and goodbye.